Given the graph of a degree five polynomial, complete the table. Notice the table asks for the roots or zeros as well as the multiplicity. Let's begin by identifying the roots or zeros by identifying the horizontal intercepts from the graph. Working our way from left to right, here we have a horizontal intercept with the ordered pair negative five comma zero, which means when x is negative five, the y value or function value is zero. Next we have the origin, zero comma zero. When x is zero, the y value or function value is zero. And then on the right we have five comma zero. When x is five, the y value or function value is zero. So we have a total of three roots or three zeros for the degree five polynomial function. And now looking at the notes below, if the graph crosses the horizontal axis at a zero, it is a zero with an odd multiplicity. So notice how at x equals five, the graph does cross the horizontal axis, and therefore the zero of five must have an odd multiplicity. Next, if the graph crosses the horizontal axis and appears almost linear at the zero, it is a single zero or has multiplicity of one. So notice how again the graph appears almost linear as it crosses the horizontal axis at x equals five, and therefore we can assume the root of zero of five has multiplicity of one. Next, if the graph touches the horizontal axis and bounces back, it is a zero with an even multiplicity. So notice how at x equals negative five and x equals zero, the graph touches the horizontal axis and then bounces back, and therefore these two zeros have an even multiplicity. And then finally, the sum of the multiplicities must equal the degree of the polynomial. In our case, we have a degree five polynomial, and therefore the sum of the multiplicities must be five. So the zero of x equals negative five must have a multiplicity of two, and the zero of x equals zero must also have a multiplicity of two in order for the sum of the multiplicities to be five. So another reason why the zero of five must have a multiplicity of one is because if these two zeros have a multiplicity that's even, the least multiplicity we could have is two and two, which only leaves a multiplicity of one for x equals five. Let's take a look at a second example. Now we have a degree seven polynomial. Let's begin by identifying the horizontal intercepts. We have one here at x equals negative five. Notice how the multiplicity must be even because the graph touches the horizontal axis and then bounces back. We have a horizontal intercept at the origin, where the ordered pair is zero comma zero. Again, the multiplicity must be even. And then we have the final horizontal intercept here at four comma zero, where notice how the graph does cross the horizontal axis at this point, and therefore the zero of four must have an odd multiplicity. For this graph, notice how the graph is not linear as it crosses the horizontal axis at x equals four, and therefore we can assume this is not a single zero or does not have multiplicity one, but because it crosses the horizontal axis, it must be odd. Let's assume the zero of four has a multiplicity of three, which is the next odd number greater than one. And because the sum of the multiplicities must be seven, and we have a multiplicity of three here, and these two have even multiplicity, we know the remaining multiplicities must be two. Two plus two plus three does give us seven. Negative five has an even multiplicity of two and then the zero of x equals zero also has a multiplicity of two. I hope you found this helpful.